Footballer Elisha from USA with difficulty in walking fast. Come here. Footballer Elisha is touched by the power of the Holy Spirit. Flushing out every pain in his knees. Look at me. Thank you, Jesus. He's flexing his legs. Clap, clap your hands for Thank Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord Jesus Christ perfectly healed brother Elisha and he was made a new creature in Jesus' name. Be blessed as you listen to his wonderful testimony. Uh, my name is Elisha Casalira. I'm from the U.S. I'm a footballer and I'm here with my dad, Elisha Casalira. And the reason why I came to the Kakanda ministry is because I've been having knee problems for seven years and I couldn't walk, I couldn't run for long periods of time. If I play a game, I only play the first half. If I'm running two to two miles a day, I can run for more than 10 minutes. I feel pain all the time in my legs. I went to the hospital. They told me that I should continue doing the physical therapy, that it's gonna help me a lot. But I've been doing it for almost seven years and it hasn't been helping. Every time I wake up in the morning, I feel a lot of pain in my legs. And as you can see here, they sent me to the hospital. This is my medical form. The hospital is in Boise, Idaho. And you can see here is my name. Here on the screen is a medical report for our brother, Elisha A. Casalida from the USA, from the medical facility that he has informed us. Here they undertook to examine his right toes. They took radiographs he was complaining of the pain. They were examining him because, first of all, he suffered injury in soccer. It was a smashing injury in soccer, and now he had this pain originating from the medial metatarsal phalangeal joint radiating to the proximal end. So upon examining him, they noted abnormality here, and he was diagnosed with avulsion fracture at the medial aspect of the head of the first metatarsal with overlying soft tissue swelling. Despite the provided history of an injury that he had earlier on, the fracture appeared acute at that time of the examination. And this was reported and confirmed by Dr. Kaufman Christopher, he's a doctor of medicine there in the USA. So what happened is I was playing football and I, when I heard it pop, it hurt a lot for a long time. They told me that there's nothing they can do to fix it because it's, it's a bad injury, it's on the toe. If they try to fix it, they'll only make it worse. And now I'm giving the microphone to my dad to explain more. Good morning, church. Good morning. Yeah, my name is uh, Elise Caslira. I'm from the United States of America. Yeah, it was a big challenge to see my son, this injury he was having. There was no way he can perform his jury. It was very difficult. Yeah, but I want to thank God. This is using men of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande, to help us, to pray for us, and we get healed. <laughs> Myself, I want to thank God again. I was here last year, December, and then he prayed for me. He prayed for my wife too. My wife was having a, a back pain, and then she just got healed sentry. And until now, she's doing good. We are here to thank God for this ministry. <clears throat> the wonderful Jesus is using our man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande, we say thank you, thank you again. I want to give my son a microphone again to Adamo. So when the man of God was praying for me, I, they told me to stand up and I looked him in the eye, they prayed for me, I fell down. Then the ashes picked me up, I fell again. It's like I had no control of my own body. Then at that time he told me to stand up. I felt a sensation in my knees and in my toe where I hurt myself and I could move I could do everything that I was able to do before, and I just feel like a different person. Yeah. 
for seven years, I couldn't, I couldn't run, I couldn't squat the right way, I, I couldn't, I couldn't do the normal things I could do, I could do as a soccer player, and it was affecting me because I couldn't help my team, and it's it's been difficult all my life, and I want to continue to thank God for everything He do, did for me, and Professor Samuel Kakande for praying for me, and I want to thank the church and the ushers for their for their continued welcoming. I can walk. I can even jump over this chair with no problem. Hallelujah! So I thank God for that. Clap, clap for Jesus Christ. Come on, for the Christ among us. The brother is healed. Oh, well, Uganda, when you said that. Jesus has put him back on the soccer pitch. Clap your hands for Jesus Christ. Move for the Christ among us. And I want to send a message to anyone out there who's in pain, whether you're a soccer player or a normal person, to come to Prophet Samuel Kakande here in Kampala, Uganda. And the men of God will pray for you and Jesus will heal you. Thank you. Yeah. Let us give God glory. So we can turn that to Thank you. Your hands together for the Lord Jesus Christ. Brother, blessings from Malawi. He has difficulty in bending for three years due to pain in the neck and back. Go, you are free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm here. Mr. Salima from Malawi received a touch of God's power that surely transformed his life forever. The following morning, he came back to testify healed and free to God's glory. People from Malawi and my family, they are saying greetings to the prophet, greetings to the church, and all the people of Uganda. Hallelujah! I think you can shout better than that. Hallelujah! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Actually, my name is uh, Blessings Salima. I am from Malawi. The uh, main reason why I'm here is that I've been sick for a number of years, uh, to be particular, uh, three years. So I've been up and uh, down in various uh, hospitals in Malawi, actually to identify or to uh, diagnose what the problem is all about. One day I just came from work and then I just felt uh, a sudden uh, heat on my uh, uh, forehead and then I feel my neck uh, a thumbness. I could not actually uh, move my neck. I could not shake. I was like uh, something has just attacked me. Uh, something very, very, very uh, dangerous. So uh, that time uh, my wife was there. And then uh, uh, immediately she took me to the hospital, one of the hospitals in Malawi. They uh, suspected maybe it's uh, COVID or something. They did all the tests whatsoever. Unfortunately, they did not find anything. So it was very, very worrisome to say, uh, uh, you uh, uh, people of God, very worrisome. Uh, they gave me uh, painkillers that you should be taking these painkillers. Then I, uh, I was uh, on those medications, but uh, things could not improve. 
So I uh, went to another hospital. Uh, they also do whatever they were supposed to do. Things could not improve. I went to another hospital. I went to another hospital. I went to another hospital. In fact, I went to all the major hospitals, the reputable hospitals, not just a hospital, but reputable hospitals in Malawi. But things could not uh, 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 improve. So things really uh, gotten bad. Things were worse. I, I had no hope uh, to be precise. So uh, uh, at one particular time, I went to another hospital to meet a therapist. This one sent me to an uh, MRI scan. Uh, so from there, they actually uh, gave me a medical report. The medical report is here. Uh, you can take a, a good look at uh, my medical report. So I was sent to Care Africa Diagnostics, and this is a report. We are looking at this medical report from Care Africa Diagnostics in Lilongwe, Malawi. It's a medical report for Mr. Blessing Salima. Here they undertook an MRI examination of his cervical spine as per the pain that he has explained to us. And first of all, they noted straightening of the normal cervical lordosis. They observed he has got marginal osteophytes at a few levels, and they also noted desiccation of a few of the cervical intervertebral discs plus all these abnormalities. He was therefore diagnosed with diffuse disc bulge at C3 to 4 level. Another disc bulge was diagnosed at C4 to C5 level, and also at C5 to C6 level. They noted further disc bulge at C6 to C7 level, partially effacing anterior subarachnoid space, partially narrowing neuroforamina. This is the cause of the pain that he had as is being confirmed by Dr. Sumat Nayak, the radiologist. So actually, I, uh, I got that uh, report from uh, Care Africa, and, and I took it to the uh, uh, specialist who uh, uh, interpreted it. And uh, uh, upon hearing what uh, the uh, uh, expert uh, interpretation, I also got annoyed. Because what he said is that I'll be on medication, uh, there will be no permanent uh, solution. I was uh, 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 put on those uh, medication. Then I was totally confused. You know, confused. I went home. I told my family I wanted to write a will because I thought maybe I'm dying. Uh, you know, when you are confused, uh, there are so many things that actually happens with your life. You do not uh, uh, concentrate. You don't think well. You think that your life has come to an end. Because uh, specifically of this uh, uh, pain, uh, there was a number of things that I could not do. In Malawi, I'm a procurement specialist. I'm working. Apart from that, I'm also a businessman. I've got uh, 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 companies that I actually am working. But uh, these companies, because of this sickness, scrambled. Because we are supposed to do bidding documents to apply for tenders in government, tenders in private institution, tenders in an governmental organization, elsewhere where they have advertised for tenders. So we are supposed to work even overnight, trying to scrutinize documents, trying to do this, trying to do that. It's a big process that requires one to think uh, uh, properly. You don't have to, 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 to just wake up one day and then you think you are going to win a tender. That's not possible. So this sickness actually brought my business down, my work performance down, my family life down, eventually my networking down, everything uh, scrambled to zero because of the sickness. Then uh, at one point, I was uh, uh, trying to uh, 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 talk to one of my friends who actually told me about Prophet Samuel Kakande, uh, uh, who is based uh, in Kampala. So uh, after that uh, conversation, I went straight to Google on YouTube. I found uh, so many uh, uh, creeps on YouTube, uh, uh, people testifying the goodness of God. So I said, no, 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 no. This is what I'm looking for. In fact, this is what I want. <laughs> Uh, that is not a long time. I think it's uh, two, weeks, two to three weeks ago. I organized myself uh, to come here, and then I, 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 I came here. I was put on a, a prayer line uh, to meet a prophet, uh, uh, Samuel Kakande. Uh, after I saw the prophet, immediately I saw the prophet. I, I just knew that, oh, ho, 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 this is my answer. My answer, welcome. <laughs> Because that was the day that I was uh, looking for. I just saw uh, on YouTube and then meeting the prophet. 
uh, face to face, to me, just seeing him was a miracle already. So the prophet uh, prayed for me. Uh, he touched me on the chest. I, I could not even concentrate. I was looking at the prophet, but you see, I couldn't even see him properly. You see, because of uh, something like happened. I'm telling you now, I'm a free man after spending three years with this uh, problem, getting worse and worse every day. It's not something uh, to joke about, and the pain was unbearable. Uh, in fact, uh, the uh, hospital, uh, others were uh, describing it as a, a chronic disease, others what, but I thought, it, I, I said no, let me not stress, because in Uganda, there's a prophet of God who don't stress. So, I want you all to shout that here at Prophet Samuel Kakande, we don't stress. Say, we don't stress. We, don't stress. we do not stress. We don't stress. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, before that, I used to do, uh, you know, exercises. One has to do some exercises to keep fit. Uh, others, you know, they run around. Others, they do jumps. But myself, I was uh, into, you know, martial arts because I want to keep myself uh, uh, fit, you know. Uh, you know, I put up some weight. But because of that disease, I couldn't do that. Um, I could not even uh, move my head uh, very well. Now looking this side, sometimes I have to move the whole body like that, uh, move the, the whole uh, body like that. You know, uh, when I've not taken drugs, then I could not actually walk uh, properly, not concentrating how a lot of things happening. But here, I think I can I can shake my head. Uh, you want me to, to, to shake my head or to, to, to demonstrate uh, a one uh, martial art move to show that I'm all right now. I can bend, I can look at you people, look at everyone, yeah? So, you know, I can demonstrate some uh, martial art. Ho! 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 I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm fit, I'm fit, I'm fit. I can move fast. I can walk fast, I can walk fast, you know, you know, you, you know, yes, you know, I can do, it's just that I'm just giving myself a, a little respect, but I can do everything, I can do everything now. I'm good, I'm okay. Thank you, man of God. Thank you, Prophet Kakande. Now, I'm going back. A happy person. I'm going back with a good news. Uh, the time that I've spent here, I will live to remember for the whole three years, uh, the journey has ended here. <laughs> so let me uh, in particular communicate to the people in my home country, in our local language, the main local language that is taught in school, is uh, Chichewa as well as English, so the whole nation can understand Chichewa. Amalawi nonse, amene mukundi mvela, ola amene mukonera, ngati muri ndima vuto, amene ako kusawe sani ntendere kwa zaka zambili mbili, solution ya pezeka, and that solution iliku Uganda kwa Prophet Samuel Kakande. Kuno ku Uganda kwa Prophet Samuel Kakande aza kulandilani kulima ashes ploto kotim yabu ino aza kupanga ni guide mzo kumandi Prophet mavuto anu wonse aza tera pomwepo. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Echite wa chikari ya Christo.
Justin from Nigeria. Receiving his healing. Watch brethren. Remember he came with pain in the left ankle. Thank you Jesus. I'm free. I'm free. Thank you. Please remove this walking gadget that he has been using for support. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 